Hey everybody, what's up? So today's video is a little different. I'm not going to do any drum covers, no stick flips or drum remixes or anything. Uh, today is all about my custom painted snare drum that I've recently done. Uh, I'll tell why I did it, how I did it, and give you guys some test footage of different heads, different tunings. So first off, uh, the reason I did it, I just wanted something unique, something different. You know, I've seen a lot of guys, like the big guys, um, they all have these like amazing kits that are like one of a kind. So I kind of wanted to do something like that, but I didn't also have the money. So I was like, I'm just going to paint it. Why not? So it started off as a Mapex Army snare drum, uh, the tomahawk, tomahawk snare. Um, so yeah, it's a 14 by five and a half steel shell. Um, there's some power hoops, the 2.3 millimeter power hoops by Mapex. Uh, it's a great drum, and yeah, I was like, well, I just, I'm going to paint it. So, how I did it was I. Phone. <laughs> Sorry. Um, how I did it was I took all the hardware off, took the badges, everything completely off. So, I was left with just a bare shell. Bare shell. And then I decided to plasti dip it uh, in case something went wrong. I could peel it off, try again, but as you can tell, nothing went wrong. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! So then, um, what I did is I bought Magic Marble Paints. If you want to use their products, the link will be down low in the description. Um, so yeah, I just literally set it up and we did it and here's how. So yeah, it was a pretty easy process. Me and my good friend Nathan Spawn did it. Uh, if you want to check out some of his stuff, uh, go to my Instagram page. He'll be on there a bit. Um, and you can also just look him up. I'll put a link to all of his stuff down below. Uh, he's an incredible bass player that goes to me at college. I go to Visible Music College in Memphis, Tennessee. So yeah, uh, it was great, and uh, it was a fun time doing it. It took about three days all in all, but well worth it. Uh, and so now I'm going to show you guys some different tunings, different heads, and how it sounds.
Yeah. You can tell it definitely made a little bit of a difference, but it sounds great now in my opinion. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the paint job, how it sounds. Uh, also, sorry for not having as many tunings in the Heavyweight and the EC1 by Evans. Uh, the audio files got deleted after I left the studio already, so I was like, well, great. I can't go back and redo it because I left for Christmas break. So, yeah. But... It sounded great in all of them. Uh, low, it was a little bit more rattly, but high, if you tune this drum high, it sounds amazing. And that's personally how I like it. So it all works out. So yeah, thank you again. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see more. I'll be coming out with more content, more videos pretty soon. And also, if you haven't noticed, I have been in partnership with Logan Garments. Uh, I'm not wearing them right now just cause like, all their clothes are in the wash. I'm weighing on more clothes. Uh, I can't wait to provide more content with them and more about my drums. Uh, yeah, thank you again for all the support, and I hope everybody has a great day. God bless.